सो हे गाइस ये भी आप क्वेश्चन नंबर 22 फ्रॉम बिल्ड अप एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग एक साइड ऑफ द चैप्टर काइनेमेटिक्स अगेन फ्रॉम द बुक पाथफाइंडर सो आई समवन आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट सो आई एम कवरिंग इट एंड आई हैवन्ट बीन गेटिंग मच टाइम इन द पास्ट वन और टू वीक्स सो आई हैवन्ट बीन एबल टू पोस्ट एनी वीडियोस बट आई ट्राई टू पोस्ट मोर ऑफ्टन फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन सो आई नाउ लेट्स गेट गेट लेट्स गेट इनटू द क्वेश्चन वन डियर वाज 48 मीटर्स फ्रॉम अ लेपर्ड द लेपर्ड स्टार्ट्स चेजिंग द डियर एंड द डियर इमीडिएटली स्टार्ट्स रनिंग अवे फ्रॉम द लेपर्ड विद अ कांस्टेंट वेलोसिटी a leopard cannot run at high speeds for a long time and has to slow down due to fatigue if we assume that the leopard starts with an initial speed of 30 meters per second and reduces its speed in equal steps of 5 meter per second after every 2 second interval at what minimum speed must the deer run to escape from the leopard so yeah, if you want to give this question a fresh try with uh, yourself you can do it now so yeah, now if you want the hint here it is try visualizing it through a graph uh, and in this question especially try using the displacement time graph it will help uh, a lot in uh, getting to the answer so if you want to try it again you should do it now so yeah, now let's look at the solution and uh, we, we can clearly see that, that as the uh, velocity as it can be divided into uh, two second intervals this can obviously be solved by case work but uh, it's slightly in this so i have tried to do it with graph uh, so the case work reduces by a bit so first let's try try to look at the displacement time graph as i said to get an idea what exactly is happening here so here the leopard starts from position a initially and the uh, deer was at a position i initially so initially in the first two se seconds the velocity was 30 meter per second and uh, and gradually after every 2 second interval as i have marked in the graph the uh, slope of the uh, slope of this curve which is basically uh, displacement over time or which is the velocity it it keeps on decreasing so it has been decreasing like 30 25 20 and so on and the a deer goes with some constant velocity along a straight line like this so if this line intersects this curve somewhere then we said we can see that the uh, leopard will have crossed the deer and uh, that's not what we want so basically this line has to be always above this curve and should not intersect or rather can only be tangent to this curve in the maximality case so uh, what can we conclude from here so from the graph it's clear that we have to find the line joining uh, passing through i which is the initial position of the deer which is 0,48 with the lowest possible slope hence lowest velocity which just grazes the curve by the leopard so that leopard doesn't catch it that's what i explained just now now from here we have to observe that let's say that the line i is tangent to the curve by the leopard at some point other than the transition point here i have uh, transition points i have said to be b c d and so on and if they uh, if the it is tangent at some point other than the transition points it has to have the same slope or velocity of the curve at that region otherwise it shall cut the curve at the point which is in what we want so basically what i'm saying here is that if we consider uh, any point in between like uh, a non transition point so at this point let's say the uh, graph of the deer passes like this but this will obviously be cutting the graph because uh this uh, slope isn't changing and this slope is neither changing so uh they can be ta tangent only when the, the, the both the slopes are equal so uh so it has to have a slope of values 30 25 or 20 and so on as we said because they are the only possible slopes of the curve of the cheetah or basically the only possible velocities which the cheetah is attaining in each respective region where the point lies so for example if we we had to consider a point in this region it should have had a, uh, the the point uh, the line ip should have a, a slope of 30 if it had been in this region it should have had a, a slope of 25 and in this region 20 and so on but uh, we will see that it is not possible but as shown below it isn't possible because the slopes in each region will lie basically in the terminal values of the slope at the end points these slopes are basically the, the slopes of line joining i and that point so basically in the region 0,2 the initial slope which is of i a which is this point i a it is minus infinity obviously and the uh, final slope of it is ib which is this line 
so basically all the uh, lines in this region will lie uh, will have slopes between these two terminal values as it is a uh, it is going along a straight line so uh, it has to have a slope between a uh, minus infinity to 6 and in 2 to 4 the uh, slope lies between 6 to 18 and mind you that these slopes are basically the velocities average velocities or uh, the velocity of the deer uh, which are possible or uh, uh, rather than being possible which are uh, which are being used here similarly from ic to uh, id it is 18 to 17 from id to ie it, it is 17 to 16.5 and so on so from now it's clear that it can only be tangent at some transition point so basically uh, here i said that uh, it is never equal to any uh, integral value like uh, it is varying from minus infinity to 6 uh, and attaining the value of 0 but that value of 0 does not does not match with this value in this region so it, it cannot be tangent at some intermediate point so from here what we can conclude is that it's clear that it can only be tangent at some transition point a b or c or and so on and the slope at that point should be such that it is less than uh, that of the leopard's curve what is in the previous region but more than the slope in the next region so basically what i'm saying here is that let's say we chose some transition point so for this to be tangent the slope of this uh, tangent should be uh, less than the slope in the region pre below it and should be greater than the uh, slope of the region above it so this is a uh, very intuitive and uh, it's very clear and i hope uh, you can understand that so from here uh, we can see that uh, so if the uh, if the line ib has to be a tangent so the slope should be between 30 to 25 so uh, if it had to be a tangent at ic it had it would have to be at between 25 to 20 and so on but uh, we can see that only one value satisfies in this which is the uh, id which has a slope of 17 as we saw here and the uh, value of id has to lie between at, at this point it has to lie between 20 and 15 and it's satisfying so that's the only possible answer uh, in this case so hence i uh, the minimum speed required will be 17 meter per second as that's a tangent and here we can see that the uh, in the uh, critical case or in the extreme case the deer will go, go along this line and the cheetah will go along the curve so it has to have a minimum velocity of 17 meter per second so yeah hope you all like the video please like share and subscribe thank you